Enchanted Ways. If this is your first time here, hello, I am Danielle and I make videos on spirituality, witchcraft, hoodoo, and topics of that nature. So if those things interest you, click the subscribe button and click the notification bell and be sure to follow me on Instagram at Enchanted Ways for daily inspirational quotes and card readings. So without further ado, because y'all have been waiting entirely too long, okay? my beauty spell all right but first off i want to show you my beauty slash self-love altars a super simple setup so i want to make sure you see everything okay so really only this and this crystal right here um are part of my beauty slash uh self-love altar of course i mean i got my little beauty products and stuff up here so it lends its energy let me see. I'm trying to see. Um, right there. That's my petition um, for self-love and beauty. And I like to incorporate protection in everything that I do. So it's got protective elements in it. And it's also got um, prosperity elements in it. Because, I mean, beauty products ain't cheap. It ain't cheap to be pretty. So <laughs> I threw that in there. And, you know, I um, it's anointed with... This oil right here, and I'll uh, give you the recipe, my self-love slash beauty oil. Um, it's got um, lavender and rosemary and rose and some other things. But like I said, I'll give you the recipe when I actually um, demonstrate the spell or go over the spell that I intuited. And so this is it, y'all. Super simple. Now, this is a beauty spell. But this is a breaking bad habits because like I've told y'all before, I got a bad habit of twirling my hair. And so it stunts my hair growth in my nape area. So, so this is my jar for that to break up the bad habit of that. It's in um, an eye cream jar. So, you know, that beauty energy. And I've got a breaking bad habits sigil right here uh, that comes from this deck. Making magic. And here's the sigil. If you're interested in it yourself. It says self-acceptance. Excellent mental health. And letting go of vices. Yeah, so if y'all want to use that sigil. Yourself for some things. Feel free. So. Yeah. That's just my little um, setup. And so I'm going to. Go over the spell that I came up with. So stay tuned. Okay, so <laughs> um, if you hear some noise, it's my kids. Now, um, first of all, my oil, the self-love and beauty oil that I made, it has pink salt for protection, thyme for Venus properties, thyme is a Venus herb, um, prosperity, marjoram for beauty, and um, protection keeps some wanted people away because I mean, you know, when you look good, the freaks come out at night. <laughs> uh, but yeah, you know, I mean, beauty is a, is, is a double edged sword, it really is. So, you know, you want to be attractive, but you don't want the creeps around either. So, um, I thought marjoram was perfect to include in my formula, rosemary. For beauty, rose for love and beauty. I could have swore I put lavender, lavender in there. I have to uh, stare at it and <laughs> see if I have lavender in there, because um, lavender always, you know, invokes beauty to me. So I think that is in there, but I don't have it listed, y'all. I be, you know, making formulas and spells and different things. And I'll intuit them and make it in the moment and stuff. And then I have to go back and, oh, whoops, I didn't write down <laughs> what I did. And so I've gotten better with that. But this, I made this oil when I was bad at recording what the hell it is. You know, I put in my stuff. Um, so I'll check and I'll put the full list of ingredients that's in that oil. And then, of course, pink glitter because it's pretty and... It catches light and so spirits like light, you know. So that's the oil. Now, for the particular spell that I'm sharing with you all, I'm not 
demonstrating it because I mean it's super simple you know how to put water in a bowl and herbs in a bowl and drop a couple of drops of oil in a bowl <laughs> okay and that's all you need a bowl some boiling water okay a towel so you can create um, a steam tent so basically you know you just need a big enough towel to put over your head and drape the bowl so it traps all the steam and all the steam will go to your face and so I wanted I picked this spell because it took me a while to come up to do this video because I was trying to figure out well what kind of spell do I want to do and finally it came to me this particular spell which is the perfect combination of mundane meets magical okay so even if you didn't imbue um this particular spell with any magic on a practical level is going to improve your appearance because it's going to improve your skin so I, I think it's a perfect spell for that because steam is gonna you know open up your pores really get all of the gunk out of your skin and your uh complexion is gonna look better and so that's gonna make you more attractive so that alone you know will make the spell worth doing so you're gonna need again big bowl a towel big enough to drape and create a steam tent drape over your head in the bowl to create a steam tent some boiling water um for the steam and the steam of course like i just explained has its practical purposes but if you remember from my um weather magic video fog steam can be used for fog and fog has properties of magic in general so it can be used in any spell really but it also has that cloaking property and veils and things of that nature and so to me cloak can also be and a veil can also be me showing you what I want you to see you know what I'm saying illusion I get that vibe um from fog as well so illusion glamour go hand in hand so that's why you have the steam. That's the magical properties of steam. And then, you know, you put in whatever combination of herbs and oils that you feel it. If you even want to use oils, if you have them, you know, um, like lavender essential oil for beauty and um, rose absolute. You ain't gonna find no rose. This <laughs> essential oil. Um, it's just too damn expensive. And... Um, Orange. Orange is good for beauty and um, prosperity um, and high vibrations, lavender for high vibrations and things. And all these things, raising your vibration is going to make you more attractive as well. So, some herbs you can use. These are Venus herbs, okay? So, all of them are good for beauty and self-love. I think it's really important um, to incorporate self-love into beauty spells because that is the foundation of beauty spells in my opinion if you don't love yourself if you don't find yourself attractive you know people are going to find you attractive if you are but it's always going to be something missing and you're not going to be treated that well and it's always going to be some bs with it so self-love is really important so Venus herbs that you can use, peppermint, rose, thyme, burdock, catnip, perfect, especially if you're trying to attract, okay, catnip is catnip. <laughs> All right, I remember Conjure Queen, shout out to her, was incorporating catnip and she was bringing all the boys to the yard, okay? So catnip is excellent for that. Colt's foot, ladies mantle, motherwort, mugwort. Penny Royal, Raspberry, Yarrow, Elder, Feverfew, Mallow, Marsh, Tansy, and Plantain. These are all Venus herbs. Um, and some beauty herbs are, again, Lavender, Jasmine, Cowslip. Okay, I don't, I don't know what, the, <laughs> what that is. So, anywho. Um... And herbs for personal power, because I feel it can go hand in hand. I mean, if you're trying to be more beautiful, there's a reason for that. Obviously, you <laughs> trying to, you know, have some power somewhere, if not, you know, in the dating realm or just whatever it is. Um, 
So you could also include allspice, basil, cinnamon, cloves, fennel, garlic. I mean, if you wanted to for the protection and definitely for the power. It's definitely powerful. Um, but it depends on the herbs you use. It might throw off the vibe. That's what I'm picking up from it. Garlic might not quite mesh as well with these, you know, lighter type of herbs. Um, but give it a shot. Ginger, marjoram, nutmeg, sage, all for personal power if you want to add that element to um, your beauty spell. I mean, you know, I, I don't know <laughs> what you do for a living. You I, Definitely this personal power might come in handy um, with a beauty spell if you're in certain industries. Okay, so confidence herbs, absolutely appropriate for a beauty spell. Cloves are also confidence herbs. It's also, it's also a confidence herb. Cedar, coconut, so you could use um, a base for your oil, um, a fractionated coconut oil or something like that. Ginger, again, for confidence. Honeysuckle, fennel, seed, yarrow, tobacco, nettle, which is mostly for courage. Um, which can still go in a beauty spell, you know, maybe, you know, you're trying to put yourself out there, you know, and date and things like that, and you are scared, you know, that's completely normal, so throw a little nettle in, in your beauty, uh, spell if you feel the need. Oris root is for charisma and orange, so... You're going to enchant your water, you know, you're going to put your herbs in, you're going to enchant them or hold them in your hand and enchant them, however you do it, and just put those properties of beauty and self-love in there. And then sit in that steam and just really visualize what it is that you're trying to accomplish along the lines of beauty and how beauty spells manifest. Uh, increased confidence you can you'll start to comprehend things better say if you're not you know you don't have really the eye for fashion and you never been really skilled at doing makeup and things like that you'll start coming across videos that work with your comprehension and work with how you learn makeup tutorials and things like that and, and um You'll start to develop an eye for fashion. These are things that can happen when your beauty spell starts working. It really just depends on what it is you're trying to accomplish with your beauty spell. So getting better at doing hair and makeup and things like that. Seeing yourself in a new light, you know, and just really learning to love yourself and appreciating yourself flaws and all. Um, getting gifts of beauty products and or winning things you know maybe winning a free consultation you can get a discount on some cool sculpting or something like that um you're having luck you know as far as you you finding all of the coupons and getting all of the discounts on you know these beauty products that you've wanted for a while but they've been out of your price range things like that can happen um manifesting money that's why I threw prosperity in there because some of you want surgery and different things, you know, let's be real. So these are things that can happen, you know, manifesting the um, last bit of money that you needed for your surgery or what have you. Synchronicities, like I said, coming across different videos, coming across different methods, things you've never heard before, um, you know, like turmeric masks to get rid of discoloration and you know, like I came across um, Victoria, Victoria, I didn't even know it was possible to, you know, fix the darkness under your armpits and things like that. Like she has, she's a, a great channel. So here you go. <laughs> if you've never heard of her before, think your beauty spell, if you already got one going by watching this is manifesting. Um, so definitely check her out.
things like that, coming across methods and, and different techniques and products and stuff you've never even heard of that can help you out, like derma roll, and that's something I've never heard of. Um, so things like that are starting to happen. Um, increased motivation, okay, huge one. All right, increase motivation to actually stick to your hair care routine, stick to your skincare routine, stick to your diet, stick to exercising. These are all ways um, that beauty spells manifest. And then, of course, people finding you more attractive. What can happen, because um, beauty is a matter of perspective at the end of the day, what can happen is people will notice whatever it is about you that is attractive already. Everybody has something about them that is attractive. So, you know, maybe you have hypnotic eyes. So instead of people noticing your acne, they're drawn into your eyes now and they don't even notice, you know what I'm saying, your flaws and things of that nature. Um, your personality may shine more. Uh, whatever it is about you that is already attractive will be amplified. And then the things that you find not so attractive, you'll start um, manifesting things that can make it more attractive or at the very least you will manifest the mentality that it's okay and you're okay with yourself and you love yourself as is. Um, like if you're older, you know, this will happen anyway, beauty spell or not, if you are self-aware, you'll look back at your old photos when you were a teenager, when you were, you know, in your 20s and things like that. And like, damn, I hated myself. But now I wish I looked like that. You know, so that can happen when a beauty spell, your perspective will change and you'll start, stop beating yourself up and start realizing, okay, I'm going to fuck around and another 20 years is going to pass and I'm going to look back and realize I should have been loving myself the entire time because now I wish I looked like that. You know what I'm saying? So um, that can happen. Another thing that can be used um, in a beauty spell is sugar because sugar is all about attraction. So you can use sugar to attract the beauty. Um, so yeah, that is... It, you guys when it comes to the beauty spell that I intuited and my beauty slash self-love altar things don't have to be complicated y'all things don't have to be expensive to work work with what you work with what you have and if you don't have these herbs create sigils okay um well, you could literally write rose Get you a bowl that you don't mind. Like, if, if this could be your beauty bowl. Buy a bowl uh, or, or dedicate a bowl. And it's going to be specifically for this purpose. And write all over it. Because we know water takes on the energy of words. Okay? Write beauty on a bottle of water. Like, you can not even do this <laughs> at all. You can literally drink in whatever it is you're trying to manifest. And that goes for anything because we know water holds energy. And I used to do that all the time. Like, I don't I can't afford this alkaline water. Well, let me put pH nine on this <laughs> on this what is it? Crystal geyser? The dollar <laughs> the family dollar water. Okay, work it out. Okay, create you some sigils, write the words up there. Get creative. Think outside the box if you don't have um the herbs that i mentioned so that is it thank you all so much for watching thank you all so much for subscribing we are almost at a thousand y'all okay and i have decided what my giveaway is gonna be i'm not gonna announce it until we get to a thousand and say that you know these hoes ain't loyal anywho um that is the spell, you guys. <laughs> I am going to go. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it useful and informational. And I will see you in the next video, guys. Bye.